Hi everyone, my name is Sharon and I am the author of Ash and Feather, A Bird Girl and Her Father's Cancer. I'm also an arts educator, so I wanted to share with you some strategies that I've used to explore my emotions through painting. So first we're going to look at the materials you'll need, then we'll do some exercises in our body, and then I'll show you some painting to music. So to do this uh, activity, you will need some markers and a paintbrush, if you have it, a little cup of water. I'm going to be using these watercolors here. And then I'm also going to be using three colors of tempera paint. You can use any colors you'd like. And these are just different ways to explore with paint. So if you don't have any paint, then stick with the markers and crayons and draw to your heart's content as we explore the emotions that come out of music. So the first thing I wanted to share with you is how much I noticed about emotions being expressed in my body. So if I'm happy, like I'm happy talking to you, I have a smile on my face and it lifts up and there's a grin and I feel very kind of light and um, kind of um, upward feeling and shining. Um, if I'm feeling a little sad, I might be drooping down like this. Maybe my shoulders are hunched over. My face might be downcast a little bit. Maybe my eyes will be going down. If I'm feeling um, curious, I might kind of pinch my eyebrows together. Can you make a curious face? Hmm. Or maybe if I'm surprised, I'm oh, up like this. Oh, and things are open and I can't believe it. So there are lots of ways that we express emotions in our bodies. And I also wanted to explore how our bodies move to emotions when we hear them in music. Okay, so the first way that we're gonna express ourselves through uh, move me, moving to music and listening to the emotions in the music is through watercolor. So I'm gonna take my brush Get it nice and clean. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to add a little bit of water to each of the, the colors I want to use. And then I'm gonna put on my music. So you can do this at home with any music you'd like. I selected three songs because I'm using three different kinds of paint. I also wanted to let you know that I'm using a canvas that my daughter started. So this is what we're gonna be working on right now. We're gonna use the watercolor and watch how it drips down as we're moving with our brush to the music. So I'm going to move first and then I'm going to lift it up and watch it move. Okay, so here we go. Pick my, pick my color. I need to ask a question for the day goes by. Who, what, when, why? Oh, and I want to show you what I'm I doing see you here. In too. the bed, all these thoughts in my, my head. head. And dots. And lines. And adding some blue. Lots of water on my desk when I do this, so it's very, very wet. And then we've got this purple. He's got it down here, so I'm going to add it down here too. Looks like she did some spatters, so I'm going to add some more spatters. The way I do that is lots of water. Do you ever wonder about that when you're dealing with something like cancer? I think about that. Where did it all go wrong? Why do we say it's fine when we're running out of time when we're feeling this way? It's so hard. But the music also gives us this emotional connection that's so nice. And now I'm going to lift it up and watch it drip. Let's feel everything me and you. Let's feel everything me and you. There it comes. What does this remind you of? 
remind you of rain. It reminds you of tears. What does it remind you of? Here's something I know you told what if I shake it? Okay, so that's our start. And then we'll do our second song in just a minute. So we'll get ready for using our next set of materials use the same palette. I'm just going to keep going on here and see what happens. And this is a song called um, Believe in Me. And this is a song I wrote thinking about Phoenix and how she wanted to be um, believed in as a, a person in addition to someone who's going through her father's cancer. So believe in me and who I am um, even though I'm also part of this cancer journey, I have these other special pieces of me and um, I am my own belief. I am my own self, in addition to being part of this family that's going through this journey. So we are going to now um, think about the sounds and the emotion that come from this song. And this time I'm gonna use I'm going to use markers and show you how to create another um, another way of using watercolor with markers, which I just learned from my daughter. So I'm going to create. You can see this here. I imagine that I'm going to find myself in this rainbow. So I'm going to put a lot of marker on here. And then let's watch what happens. Now I'm going to take my... And look at this. I can also blend it out. I'm going to make a shooting star. I like that. Have my wings outstretched here. Now that I've used some of this, I can take my brush and really blend out that wonderful marker here. Now what I noticed with this one is this didn't quite turn out the way I thought it was going to. I thought I was going to make a, um, uh, a rainbow, but instead to me it almost looks more like mountains. And oh wow, look what's happening here. The watercolor is bleeding and making new colors and this almost looks now like a, uh, a flower. So I'm going to add some of that. At first I was scared how I would feel with this strangeness happening to my painting, but now I'm going to go with it. I was feeling nervous, but now I've decided I'm just going to let it happen and release and let it flow and let it go. And just kind of enjoy the movement of this. Very different than what I expected. I think I want to make some of that, those mountains. We'll get to that last one, but I want to make some more of those mountains happen here on this watercolor. So I'm curious what'll happen if I add some of this and
just explore the silence of that and not really worry about what's going to happen. Is it going to be good? Will anybody like it? Those are all voices in our heads. And what I've noticed too is that I made a mistake when I am recording this video. I noticed that I did not quit out of my email. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and do that now. And yeah, it was a mistake and I, I could have done that ahead of time, but it's okay because I'm human. And gosh, you know what? Humans do all kinds of things and we don't really anticipate. And as long as we're not hurting anybody, that's okay. So I'm just gonna listen to my voice that says, I'm being so helpful right now. And I'm having so much fun by making this painting with you all that it's okay that I forgot to turn off my email. I just did it right now and took care of it. I just took responsibility for my mistake. Okay, so this is kind of my background that I made. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play one last song. And in this song, we're gonna think about how the mood changes. So the first songs were a little bit slower, they were a little bit more peaceful and contemplative. And the last song is gonna sound a little different. And I'm gonna use my, um, my tempera in order to think about the flight of the bird. So, the, so my bird in my play is a phoenix. And so I'm gonna think about my bird kind of dancing, if you will. Um, based on the emotion that's in the song. So let's take a listen. Chase the fear from my head. Ooh. Chase the fear from my head. Can you do a little bob first? Head. Let's get into a little bit. Chase the fear from my head. Chase the fear from my head. I think it's coming around. Could be the air that I breathe or the stuff in the ground. What I get at the store on the morning I read. It's allowed by the law, but it's not what I need. It is not what I need. It is not what I need. What you need. Nah, it's not what I need. I'm gonna get that bird dancing. Here we go. Get ready. I put something aside. It's so hard to believe, but I have to believe. All the friends in my world, all the tools in my shed. Help me hold on to life. Chase the fear from my head. Take a test, take a spin, learn every word I can. Alone in the room, someone please hold my hand. Needles and rays fill my life on my days. Next is a knife that will make me okay. There's hope in the air. Can I smile? Can I dare? It was a success. Can I regrow my hair? This might be regrowing hair right here. Wanna run with a high? I've been good all my life. I feel something inside. All the friends in my world, all the tools in my shed, help me hold on to life. Chase Make the, the fear from my head. Brush dance. Chase the fear from my head. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to pause here. And here is our completed scene of the Phoenix exploration, the Phoenix flight through all kinds of emotions. So we started out with, let's just go back so that when you're ready to create, you'll remember what we did. So we started out with our brush. Mine's a little bit messy now, but we started out with our brush and with our watercolor. I added a lot of water and then I started to move it around and then I lifted up my painting. Uh, and I think I was this direction and I lifted up my painting and I let it drip down and drip and drip and drip down. So that was the first 
strategy. Put on some music, use that watercolor and let it move and then tip it, tilt it up and let it drip down. Then the second thing I did was I played with my markers. So I would use my marker like this, draw all over however I felt with the music. And then I used my brush and added some water to the marker. And that created this kind of, it was a much lighter effect here with the marker. And I was like, oh, I really thought I was gonna make a rainbow, but it turned out to be more like mountains. And I thought, well, maybe the phoenix is flying over the mountains. So then I put on my third song and that's when I added the tempera. So tempera is a little thicker and that's why I did it last because I wanted it to kind of lay on top. And that's when I thought about the flight of my bird. So I used, I put on some music and then the flight of my bird moved along. At first I got my body going because I want to kind of feel in the music what it's going to be. And then, um, and then I added, and as it was talking about chase the fear from my head, I went choo, 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 choo. Cause when I was going through cancer, um, I did have a lot of emotions going on in my head and I, did regrow my hair, but not everybody does. And I didn't regrow my hair very much in my eyebrows or my eyelashes or, or on some parts of my body, the hair didn't grow back. So the question, can I regrow my hair is a little bit of a worry and an anxiety. Um, but then I learned that, you know what? I like my hair short. And even though it took cancer for me to get to the point where I could just be brave and have my hair short. I regrew my hair and then I decided I liked it short. So that's why I went with that. Can I regrow my hair? And I feel something inside. I made these circles that are kind of like thinking whirls of emotion, something inside, whirls of emotion, whirls of emotion, chase the fear from my head. And then I just wanted to go all the way around, chase the fear from my head to make and make a whole beautiful world that I created that's outside my head. So I'm both inside and outside my head. So I hope you can enjoy um, this art making process with your family or your friends sometime in the near future. Remember, you just need some markers, a little bit of paint and some tempera. They're all things you can find at the local grocery store or craft store. And we do have free art kits. So if you're somebody who would really love to have a free art kit because you wanna create this work, then um, you can email me and we can get you an art kit from Wellbeing Studio. So thank you so much and have a wonderful time making art and exploring your emotions. Bye-bye.